brand new rod and reel that uh, Dave recommended me. Pretty much the same thing he uses. Took me out here to this super secret spot that no one's gonna know about. <laughs> and I caught my first ever trout on my brand new rod and reel. Not even first ever trout, first ever fish. Who let them dogs out? All right, I get to get into the game. I got me a nice fatty. He's a good, look at that hook set. It's around the jaw, but see how it's all wallered out? Uh -huh. That's the reason why you keep constant rod tip pressure on them. Fishing's heating back up. Burning down the house. <laughs> okay, look what we got here. Sheep's head. On the float rig, bye bye. Ooh, Dave. look at that hook set right in the lip with a number four wide band. Everything we're using right now, Dave told me to go and buy, and I went and bought it. Caught my first ever keeper trout, caught my first ever sheep's head ever on float rig fish that Dave told me to buy. Yep. You can catch them all this time of year. Float rig sheep's head, float rig reds, float rig trout. I didn't even know he was on there. I thought I was hitting the bottom, and sure enough, I pull him in and got this beauty. There he is, one for the box. All righty, folks. Yeah, even Dave can catch one every once in a while. Mr. Sheep said, you know, there's all this fancy shit. Even I do it. Look up here, see this here? This is my strong arm rig. Got, uh, it's a way of holding the leader out, okay? And there, oh, got the phone ringing. And um, I can put any sinker I want. So all this fancy stuff, and what do I do? I take my plain old bottom rig, which I'm thinking about doing a video of how to build these, okay? Because there's a little bit of a secret about how to build the strong arm rig that has caught me everything under the sun in the last 10 years. But I take my plain old bottom rig, put on double fiddler, and I get, I get old Mr. Sheepshead here with an old Mustad 3407. There's my black leader material. There's the strong arm. I think about do, I'm thinking about doing a video of how to build the strong arms. So, yeah, I get one every once in a while. <laughs> super easy, super easy. Look what he had in his stomach. No kidding. Little croaker. Little baby croaker. Try to put rig fishing some. Hey, <laughs> some uh, problem is you can't catch croakers that yeah. big. I've tried catching croakers that big. You can't catch them. All right. Well, what we learned today is, yeah, the trout are still eating some big baits, even though that's cool, cool water. And we saw a two degree temperature difference from the jetties up in the river today. Two degree, right? Two degree yeah, temperature two degree. difference. I think in some places two and a half. Yeah. And we could have, we spent a little too much time sort of over towards the inlet. And it wasn't happening, so. We probably could have caught more trout if we would have just stayed up in the river or something. But, uh, yep, that water out there in the uh, at the inlet is still freezing. But we got some fatties. 